everyone, Retro Gamer Girl here. Today is September's pickup video. I can't believe how much I was able to get in September. There is so many games, a diverse amount of different things, VHS, movies, Blu-ray, vinyls, glass bottles of all things. Uh, I'm really excited to go through each and every little lot that I ended up purchasing. I'm going to also let you know how much I paid for each item and we'll do a total at the end. There are a few things missing from this table because they simply wouldn't fit, but we'll cover those items at the very end. So stay tuned as we go through everything I picked up in September. Okay everyone, so this uh, lot of stuff is from two places. This uh, first lot that I'll cover is going to be from the community garage sale and also the tip shop that we visited. So let's get into all these goodies and the reason why I grabbed most of them. Now, Retro Gamer Guy came across these two sealed VHS. Uh, one's a Fuji and one's a Sony. Uh, we don't come across sealed VHSs much these days. I come across some cassettes and stuff like that, which I always tend to try and grab, especially Sony ones, because we collect for Sony, uh, and just add them to our collection of different odds and, odds and bits that we have. Um, and they had ridiculous pricing on these. They had something like $6 each or something, and we were like, no, we're not gonna pay paying that. So, with talking to the lady, um, when we were checking out for all of this stuff here, these two and these uh, three here, uh, we ended up making sure that we tried to get it the best deal possible. So we walked away paying a total of $31 for that stuff. So I didn't think that was too bad at all. But yeah, two sealed VHS. And then the next ones, I was in a little bit of trouble for this because I um, kind of skimmed over Robert Palmer 1989 Supernova VHS. Retro Gamer Guy is an absolute huge Robert Palmer fan and uh, I was in a little bit of trouble because I missed getting this video. And also he pointed out that The Gods Must Be Crazy there, was there as well. And I'm a huge fan of this movie. Uh, when I was a little kid, our neighbors, um, there was uh, two brothers and a sister. When I used to go over there and be babysat or anything like that, uh, we used to play NES, which is where my love for Copper Triangle come from as well. But we <laughs> we used to watch this movie, and I just remember always laughing, like eating Maggi beef two minute noodles, um, you know, even after school, and watching this movie and laughing. So it was a it was a must have for me. Um, and yeah, like I'm not sure if you guys have watched The God, Gods Must Be Crazy, but uh, it's pretty funny. So definitely give it a watch. Uh, next was the Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, I do not have this game on the Xbox 360, which is why I grabbed it. And you'll see in the video that um, I picked up quite a number of titles, but they all had $5 each on them. And I thought to myself, like I could get them all, but you know, I try and build my collection on buying games for one to two dollars, <laughs> not five dollars. Um, so I, I decided not to get the rest of them. However, when I went up to the uh, end uh, to pay for everything, um, the lady did a bundle lot for me anyway, and I ended up getting this game for probably a dollar, and I kind of regret not picking up those other ones. But anyway, they probably went to somebody else that would really love them, So, um, I, but I do regret not grabbing Cameo. So anyway, next time. Another item that I grabbed is The Sting. It's a Paul Newman and Robert Redford movie. Uh, it's sort of like, I don't know, it's, it, I don't want to say it's a gangster movie, it's not, it's, um, I don't know, it's just one awesome movie. Um, yeah, they're con men. I don't, they're not gangsters, but yeah, they're con men. So it's absolutely fantastic. If you have not watched this movie, please do check it out. I love it. And it's sealed. And that was a dollar. Uh, Top Gun CD uh, for the soundtrack. So good. I'm really excited for Top Gun 2. Every time there's some news leaked or something like that, I'm onto it immediately, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and then, uh, sitting there next to the games on my right-hand side when I was looking, were three tubs of vinyls. And I love vinyls, I love music, I've been collecting them now for a little while. Um, I don't have a big collection, but I prefer to try and get first press if I can. Uh, and they're always pretty expensive, so these are uh, ones I ended up going through and picking out all the one and two dollar ones that I was after. A couple of people pointed out, um, especially when I did re-watch the footage, that I missed Elvis Presley and an In Excess one. Uh, there was also Simply Red that I didn't get, uh, and I'm really kicking myself now about it, 
but hopefully they went to another collector or someone that's going to really love them. But we'll go through which ones I did end up grabbing. So there was Boston, that was a dollar. This Billy Joel one was two. Boz Skaggs was two. John Farnham. Now, uh, for those of you around the world, you may not know who John Farnham is. He is an Australian singer. Absolutely obsessed with him. I remember getting this uh, on cassette. It's a Whispering Jack album. I got this on cassette uh, when I was a little girl. And uh, I think it was that and Tina Turner cassette uh, for Christmas, which was like made my day. Uh, and yeah, I just love this album. So to have it on vinyl uh, is fantastic. Uh, Spando Ballot was a dollar. Uh, dire Straits, another Dire Straits, they were both a dollar. Cat Stevens, uh, didn't have a price tag, so I got it for a dollar. Same with this Billy Joel Piano Man, and it is absolutely mint condition. Billy Joel again, it's another dollar one. Linda Ronstadt, um, that was a, uh, another dollar. Abba Arrival, another absolutely super clean vinyl uh, for a dollar. <laughs> So crazy and another Linda Ronstadt as well and uh, yeah for the price of those and their condition I couldn't be happier um, with getting those so pretty much all of the pieces that you see here uh, cost us yeah $31 but the last thing that we ended up picking up from there is the talking lesson one this was released in the late 80s, I think about 88, 89 here in Australia, and it was a teaching guide for maths and spelling and stuff like that. So uh, it's really cool, and we haven't tested this one yet, but I did uh, have a look at some videos online. It's got a super bright LED screen, and I actually remember my friend uh, at primary school used to have one of these, and she totally loved it. I loved it when I go and stay at her house. It has Hangman on it, and that's a game that I used to remember playing on there so much. Um, so this particular one uh, is in fantastic condition. Uh, there's no battery corrosion in the back, so it looks like it's virtually never been used. It is a little bit dirty around the screen, which will clean up perfectly. I don't think Brendan liked it, uh, but thank you, Brendan, for this uh, awesome talking lesson one. Absolutely love it. Retro Gamer Guy ended up finding this and the game and the instructions bundled up in a plastic bag, and it was a dollar. I walked, I walked straight past it. He beelined for it, uh, but I'm glad he did because this is a piece of history and super, super 80s uh, from our childhood. And I do remember someone having it when I was a kid. So really, really happy that we ended up getting that. So yeah, $31 for all that stuff. Let me know in the comments section if you think we got any good bargains in there. Now, the tip shop. It is uh, an interesting place to go to. We don't go there often. Uh, you got to get there early, line up. And uh, the reason why I run into um, go to this section, I let all the seniors go in um, that are in the line first and, and be polite, I'm always polite. But um, the reason why I run to that section is there is a person that goes there and she can be quite aggressive and push and shove and I just don't like that. Um, so I figure if I just get in front and I can get what I want, um, then I don't have to worry about sort of having an argument with her. But anyway, uh, these games are all $2 each. So I found uh, a few games that I don't have and games that I don't have manuals for that the games have manuals for in here. Uh, so I'll be able to switch them out. So Scooby-Doo, Mystery Mayhem. Uh, this is a really, really cool looking game. I don't have it. Um, anything Warner Brothers games I do try and collect as you know uh, I like the Looney Tunes um, but yeah I'm really happy that I was able to snag this game for $2 it is complete and the disc is in condition uh, these two games Sneak the Speed I absolutely love Most Wanted I uh, don't know if many people liked Most Wanted it is insanely hard um, yeah, I felt like it was harder than the other ones, uh, to put it that way. But And I do like Underground, but I like Underground um, on the PSP. But these two, I don't have manuals for mine. Um, these have manuals, so what I'll do is I'll um, change out to make my copy cleaner in my PS2 collection. And then the other ones I'm going to set aside to trade in December at a retro game market. Bratz the Movie, uh, it's for Nintendo Wii. 
I'm not a huge wee collector of brats or brats in general. Um, however, these are quite tradable with other people. Um, people going for full sets, uh, they seem to always sell for a bit on eBay as well. So I'll just put this game aside. It's in very good condition um, to trade at a later stage in December. Uh, yeah, we love golf. I don't have this game, surprisingly. Looks awesome, it's Capcom. Definitely going to be playing that one and it's on Wii. Then uh, there was Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. I have the first one. Uh, it's again complete, awesome looking game. And uh, yeah, there's uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars for Wii. Um, yeah, this one has fantastic um, yeah, character drawings in it. So like the way that um, they're created looks like that cartoon. So I'm really, really looking forward to playing this one. Um, yeah, it looks really awesome. And then lastly is um, Total Spartan Total Warrior. Now, the reason why I ended up getting this, these are all complete games that cost, as I said, $2 each, which is a bargain. In that same hunt, uh, we ended up finding an original Xbox with two controllers. Now, when I opened this, because I wanted the game, it was empty. Anything that's got Sega on it, I thought it probably would be a good game to even try, especially working on my original Xbox collection. However, no game, he threw it in the bin. I said, look, please don't throw it in the bin. I will save it, because I save everything, um, whether or not I use the case at a later stage or I find the disc. But it got me thinking that the Xbox I still haven't tried yet, uh, that I ended up getting for $20, uh, might have the game in there. So I got this for free, um, hoping that the game is in there. Um, and yeah, the console costs 20. Um, it's not here in this shot. Um, but yeah, I think we did pretty good in this first lot of stuff. Uh, so let's get on to the next one. So the second lot of items that we ended up picking up uh, come from a combination of op shops, cash converters, and also stumbling across an antique fair, which we didn't know was on or found any information about it. We just ended up seeing some signs going, go this way, go this way. So we ended up going, it was um, $5 entry each. So I went in first to have a quick look and then I realized that there was some stuff that I think Retro Game Guy was gonna to wanna to have a look at at least as well, like Australiana memorabilia and stuff like that. So I ended up making sure I went back out, grabbed him and we went through everything. So we'll start with that first. Uh, and the first item that we ended up picking up was this super cool Space Jam Tarzos album. Now the Tarzos were released in uh, the mid 90s, maybe um, late, um, maybe mid to late or something like that. Um, and we used to collect them. Um, obviously I had a little collection and Retro Game Guy had a collection as well. And who doesn't love Space Jam? And they were collectible from chip packets. Uh, that's what I remember them from. And I used to eat quite a lot of chips when I was younger. So uh, yeah, that was really cool find. That was $5. Then for Retro Gamer Guy, I ended up grabbing a Benson & Hedges cigarette tin. Now, uh, these are really hard to find in decent condition here in Australia. The seller had probably, I don't know, maybe five different ones ranging between $5 and $10, but this one ended up being $5 and it's in really nice condition. So I love all these collectible things um, from, you know, God knows when this is from, maybe the 50s. Uh, so yeah, I think this is really, really cool. And I'm glad we ended up, well, I ended up getting that for him for a present. So, uh, and then when we were there, I ended up finding some of these uh, XXL, um, Cotty's glasses. And now I do remember these coming out. I think they were like late 90s, 2000 era. And there was Marvin the Martian. Uh, this one, because it didn't have the top, I got for a dollar. And then this one does have the top and this one was a dollar 50 and it's got Wiley Coyote and uh, the Road White Runner. And I totally love these. And uh, when I find them in op shops, they're really expensive. They're probably $5. And usually when they're on, um, eBay Australia, they're pr pretty much between $15 and $20 for these. So I felt like I got a really good deal from the little old lady that was selling them and they're super, super cute. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy to have these because I'd, I'd never had them when I was a kid, but I remember people like going to people's houses and they had them. So I thought they were really cool and I'm really glad that I was able to grab those. 
And then lastly from the Antique Fair, I ended up grabbing a Lilliman's soft drink bottle. Now this bottle reminds me of my childhood because uh, where I'm from in New South Wales, there was um, this soft drink being sold and I love cherry cheer, which is uh, pretty much would send me into hyperactive overload by drinking it. Um, but yeah, to find one of these jars in Brisbane, uh, so many years later, I don't know when this one was from, but I'd probably say maybe 60s or something like that. Uh, it just reminds me of my childhood and uh, just seeing a Lilliman's bottle. So I did end up getting this. This was a gift for my mum uh, and she's going to use it as a vase to put flowers in, which is really cool. But um, I stole it for this video, obviously. But um, so yeah, that was a $5, a $5, a $5. And then these were a dollar and a dollar fifty. So um, I ended up spending what was that sixteen, seventeen fifty at the antique fair on this stuff here, and I think that's pretty good. Uh, then op shopping, I ended up finding this R two D two cotton library bag, and uh, I really like the font on this R two D two bag, and it's new. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything collectible, it's 2012 Lucasfilm, but it's got awesome font. Uh, I'm always looking for a bag when I go hunting so I can throw things in it and then put it on the counter. You know, that's that's hoping that I end up finding something with loads and loads of games in it, but um, I will use this when I go hunting. So yeah, for $2 I thought that was pretty cool. Then we found another op shop that's new. Uh, it just had a sign out the front. We ended up just walking in there and going, okay, well, let's give it a go, let's see. It's got a bit of a dint in it now because my cat Duke Newcomb did sit on this when we brought it home. I don't know what it is with cats and boxes, but this is a um, 90s uh, Milton and Bradley, uh, obviously battleship game. Now, I don't know if it's complete. Um, the boxes sort of had it a little bit. Uh, and because of that, uh, the lady sold it to us for, I think, $3. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says 1990, 1996, but I'm pretty sure this is the early uh, 1990s one. We don't have a battleship, so I'm really excited that we ended up picking that up for $3. So, that was two op shop finds for $5. The rest of these items are from cash converters. Um, oh, sorry. This one is actually from an op shop as well. I forgot about Sheep. So Sheep is a puzzle game. Uh, it's probably similar to uh, Lemmings. Uh, we can say that or something like that. It's missing its insert and dust jacket, um, but it has got the back one in there um, and the disc condition is pretty good. It's a kind of cute game, I think. Um, and I'm really glad that we ended up grabbing it. We didn't know of this game at the time, we did pop it in on the weekend and have a quick go and it's yeah sort of like sheep herding and uh, it's got cute little sound effects and stuff like that so that was a dollar for that one so um yeah that that wasn't too bad a find for all of that so six dollars for shopping and lastly without knocking everything over this is why retro gamer guy tells me not to touch things we ended up going to cash converters and um out of everything there they had finally discounted some um, games in their uh, cupboard. And I was like, um, well, I really wanted to get a couple of them, but they still weren't discounted enough. So I said to the manager there, look, you've already discounted them this much. One's an X rental, one's this. Will you discount them for me? And so he sort of did. So I ended up getting 50 first dates for $5. Uh, we are collecting UMD movies. I'm asked about them quite a lot. So I will uh, do a video on my PSP collection very, very soon, which will be games, uh, the UMD movies, and also how many handhelds I have in the collection. But 50 First States is one of my favorite movies, uh, co-starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. They make a really good on-screen couple, but I won't go into that. Um, <laughs> they're really cute, and I love that movie. And then lastly, I ended up grabbing these two games. So the GameCube version of 007 Nightfire, which is awesome. And uh, it didn't come with its manual. It's really dirty inside, but the disc is okay. Uh, now this 
game has a really good multiplayer for player split screen. So I'm really looking forward to having friends over so we can play this game together. It's probably gonna be a heap of fun. A lot of people have commented saying, I'm glad that you picked this up. It was listed for $12. I ended up getting it for 10 off the shelf and I'm really happy with that. And then the last game from Cash Converters, uh, this was previously listed for $30. They discounted it down to 24 and then I ended up getting this one anyway for 20 So it's a run and gun shooter and I think it's absolutely a load of fun. It's not one of the best games on the Mega Drive system, but I wanted to get it to simply go with the Demolition Man version that I have. And uh, this one you can either arrest or execute the criminals, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, but I do like this particular style of gameplay. Uh, as most of you know, I like shooters and stuff like that. So this one is a great addition to the collection and I ended up getting it down to $20. So I think I did pretty good. So cash converters this time round was a 20, a 10 and a five. So 35 on these items here. But I think that I got some pretty good deals overall from these lots. So let me know in the comment section what you think of this stuff that you liked. In this lot, I hadn't uploaded a video to YouTube about the pickups. On this side, I got all of these for free from my auntie. Uh, so from time to time, she'll gather games that have been given to her or that she comes across in a garage sale finds. Uh, so this, all these games I didn't actually previously have and they cost me nothing. And then on this side, a friend of mine contacted me about a game lot that he purchased and he took all of the Nintendo stuff out and he said, hey, would you like, would you be interested in what I've, um, got in this photo and he sent me just a couple and uh, he, I said probably 125 to 150 would be a fair price. Also included in that lot uh, was a 120 gig slim PS3, a fat PS2, a slim PS2 and an original Xbox. But all of the consoles didn't have controllers leads um, and he said I'm not sure if they're working or not. Uh, with some of the consoles sometimes I've found that they don't work so I had to take that into consideration as well. And that some of the games uh, were missing, um, especially the PSP ones. So I thought to myself, okay maybe 125 is um, fair for the games, not really looking at the quality of the games that were in there. Um, and he just got back to me and said, hey, I'm more than happy to do this lot for $100. And I thought that was fantastic. So I jumped on it straight away and went and picked them up. Uh, you'll see some fantastic titles in this lot when we go through them. And I really do feel like I got a great deal. Um, very appreciative of my friend uh, for looking out for me. And virtually the whole lot of them, I didn't have those games for um, the PlayStation collection. So I'm really, really happy about everything that we ended up getting here. The consoles aren't in this shop because um, there's so many of them and they haven't been tested yet. So uh, hopefully by the time um, I update the video, I can put uh, in the description if they were working or not. But anyway, let's get into the freebie ones from my auntie. So she sent me a little package um, of a few games uh, in Australia Post the other day and when I got them, um, well actually when I took a phone call from her a couple of weeks ago, she let me know that she found this little Sonic thing and she said, I've got this blue handheld thing with a little blue character on it and it's got a McDonald's symbol on the back and I was like, oh my god, I know exactly what they are. These came out in Australia in 2004 and I have now, um, I think, the whole collection of them. They're like a little um, computer game of like basic sort of like game and watch style. Um, and this one is a skateboarding one of Sonic and I didn't have this one. It is working and I'm really happy that I finally got that one to add to the collection. Other games um, that are just... Uh, you know, ones that I didn't have um, that I'll probably get around to playing is the Wii DJ Hero 2. I don't have the DJ board and the mixing um, yet for it, but if I do find it, I probably will grab one. Uh, I have this on Xbox 360. I've played it a couple of times and I do really like the game. I'm probably the only person because they run that out at EB Games a few years ago and I think I got the Xbox One brand new in box for like a dollar or four dollars. It was definitely under four dollars, brand new. I know that for a fact, I, I can remember buying it. The other three games that um, I happened to get are all PS3. There is Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 3, which looks like a pretty neat game. Ghost Recon 2, Tom Clancy game. 
And then also uh, Splinter Cell Double Agent, so another Tom Clancy game. Not huge into Tom Clancy, as I said, uh, most of you know I'm a um, Call of Duty fan, but I will give them a go, um, especially getting them for nothing. I think that's pretty cool. Another game that we added to the collection that we didn't have, and it was super surprising because Retro Gamer Guy uh, grew up watching The X Files. So, The X Files PS1 game uh, is pretty neat. Uh, I haven't played it before. I've done a little bit of research before making this video on it. Um, it looks like it's got some awesome cutscenes in it, uh, similar to um, the show. So yeah, I'd really uh, like to play this game probably with Retro Gamer Guys so we can share the memory together. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to complete, but I'll definitely give it a go, uh, especially if there's like cool sci-fi stuff. I think it'll be a heap of fun. Now, another game. Every time I make a video and I talk about Xbox and my lack of collection, I always ask in the comments section for people to let me know of the exclusives. Generally, I won't tend to double up whether it's released on other platforms like PS2 or PS3 and so forth. But when it comes to uh, exclusives, I had been looking for Voodoo Vents. This is a super cute platformer game. Its disc condition is not great, but it does work, and I got to play this game for a little bit, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think the music and soundtrack is great. Um, it's just it's so different to any other platformer that I've played before. Um, and one of the main standout things is the music for me. Uh, I really just felt really relaxed when I was playing the game and um, laughing at it. He's sort of got some sarcasm a little bit as well. And um, yeah, I thought it was, a, I haven't finished it, but I do think it's a really good game. So thank you to everyone that commented and let me know that this exclusive was one to get. I ended up getting this for free, uh, which makes it even better. Uh, as I said, the disc condition is not great, but it works, but it was missing its manual. But I'm pretty happy that I finally have my hands on Voodoo Vents as well. Now, to this lot. Uh, so this is, as I said, from my friend. There was probably, I'd like to say 10 plus game cases ranging from uh, PS2, PS3 uh, and PSP that were missing their games. Um, and that's a bit unfortunate, but it comes partly with buying bulk lots and not knowing exactly what you're buying. But he did tell me that first. And I thought, okay, well, there's like this many that aren't complete, but there's this many that are. And I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't even look at the games. I just thought, okay, this is stuff I can either trade at the retro game market later in the year, um, or I don't have them. Uh, so I, and then I did spot a couple that I didn't have. So I was like, okay, well, if it's worth just buying for those two games, sorry, three games, I'll definitely get it. So um, let's go through all the ones that we ended up with. The first one is Parasite Eve. This is a um, sci-fi um, survival horror game similar to a Resident Evil style. This is a sequel, obviously, and it did come in a third game as well. Uh, the third one is on PSP, and it's called The Third Birthday. And that one happened to be in the, um, like, in the bulk lot, but the PSP game was missing, sadly. This game is uh, Squaresoft, and everyone sort of gets changed into these awful looking creatures and you're running around shooting all these different things. Uh, it's a little bit scary, uh, but fun. I definitely like to sit through a playthrough um, to complete this game, uh, as I am a fan of Resident Evil games on the PS1. I do like the graphics in this game, and I also love the sound. So it's definitely one to check out if you haven't played Parasite Eve, or maybe just check out um, a few game playthroughs of this one. I definitely will probably try and play this um, on YouTube uh, live streaming. Other games that were in there and reasons for buying the bulk lot as well was this standout Parasite Eve 2. We didn't have this game and I'm really happy that we ended up being able to get it. Another one is Sega Rally. Now I love arcade rally games. I love them. I just, and Sega <laughs> do the best uh, rally games and uh, definitely the best arcades. Now. This PSP game is fairly sought after, um, I found out afterwards, and it's probably why I never stumbled across it before in the wild. And I'm really excited that we were able to grab this, and it was another reason and another game in this pile, that's why I wanted to grab it as well. There's Juiced 2, 
complete. We already, um, no, we didn't have that one. We have the first one. Uh, Rengoku, the Tower of Purgatory. So this one looks like another, um, like sort of slash, slasher style game. Um, it looks cool, uh, Konami. This is another reason why I wanted this lot and I was so relieved when I opened it up and the game was in there. So PSP uh, Mega Man Maverick Hunter. I do uh, actually have um, this game and the set, uh, the Japanese set. So when I'd seen this uh, in the PAL format, I was really excited to be able to have um, another game in my Mega Man collection. So this is another awesome PSP game. And then lastly, there was Lara Croft Tomb Raider Anniversary. And again, we collect uh, most of the Lara Croft games. I didn't actually know about this game and I'm really looking forward to being able to play this on the PSP. So it's uh, another reason for me to do my PSP video very soon for you guys because um, yeah, I've got such a huge collection now and some really good uh, games that I'd love to suggest that you guys should play. Next, we'll go through the PS2. Uh, so Auto Modelista. Now, I have heard so many good things about this game uh, and I'm really excited about being able to finally have it. Um, it does have like a cell shading uh, graphics, so it makes it look like it's like a cartoon effect. Uh, I have played this game only for um, probably like half an hour to an hour and I've thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Some of the controls are a little bit hard, uh, maybe not maybe not as good as Gran Turismo, but definitely a lot of fun and I really enjoy um, how the graphics look on this game. I think it's fantastic. Now unfortunately with my copy, it does have a little bit of mold um, and wear and normally I would not allow a game like this into the games room, but I'm going to make an exception because it's Capcom, because I didn't have it uh, and I really, really like this game so far. So I'm gonna make an exception for this one. It can stay. Next is Star Ocean Till the End of Time. Now, I am not a huge RPG player. Uh, I do enjoy the Final Fantasy franchise and um, I'm trying my hardest to get into a few more. Um, so hit the comment section below with other games that you think I should play. But this one is a sci-fi um, sort of like space age RPG and uh, I think I'd really like this one so um, there's a lot of people that say really really um, that this is one of the best games ever uh, for the PS2 uh, so let me know if you think it is and I'll try and make time to definitely play through this one as well next one is Capcom Fighting Jam this has some um, fight it, like characters from I think three or four different games in it and I do like Street Fighter and I love Capcom fighting games so it's definitely a great one to have found in this lot of games. Um, it's complete, it, the disc's in really excellent condition and there's sort of like a theme going on here. Um, a person who owned these obviously likes Square Enix and also Capcom which is great because I love Capcom so much and I'm slowly getting into more Square Enix games so it's pretty good. Um, the next one is X-Men Legends Rise of Apocalypse 2. I haven't played this game before, I have seen it. I think it come on the uh, original Xbox. Uh, so yeah, just correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I haven't played this one. Let me know if you think it's a great one. And then the last PS2 game is Tenchu Wrath of Heaven, which looks like an awesome sort of samurai game. Um, yeah, this one will be really cool as well. I'm really gonna look forward to playing this one with Retro Gamer Guys. So we, there's a few games that we try and play together uh, because we like to finish them together and um, enjoy um, going through them. So I'll definitely be getting onto some of those PS2 games. Next is the last pile for PS3, it's Portal 2. I posted this on my Instagram stories to ask if anyone had known um, what these games are like and I kept getting really good responses from people so uh, I'll definitely be into that one it's by Valve. Bioshock Infinite is in the pile it's really cool uh, I like some of the other Bioshock games so I don't I don't think I'll dislike this one. Kingdom Hearts uh, the remix so it's 2.5 uh, another Kingdom Hearts game that I haven't played before 
but I will definitely make sure I get through them before the new one is released on their PS4. Fallout 3. Street Fighter, this one's 4. Super Street Fighter 4, sorry, uh, my apologies. Another fighting game, it's awesome, Capcom. Final Fantasy X and X2 Remastered. The graphics on these look fantastic. Didn't have them in the collection, I haven't played them. Uh, looking forward to though. Tekken 6. Um, can't believe we didn't have this game. We have almost every single other Namco game uh, when it comes to Tekken, so super weird. But anyway, <laughs> we've got it now. This is a weird one. Um, have you played Lost? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that this game had um, a PS3, like I didn't even know the show had a PS3 game. Um, I don't know if I'll play this one. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of the show. Uh, Masters, Collector's Edition I think, something like that. Uh, Tidal uh, I like golf games so I definitely could go. Dark Souls 2, looks pretty cool, um, haven't played the Dark Souls franchise before. Uh, looks very deep and dark, so um, I probably won't play it alone. Final Fantasy, and then the second one. Um, again, I haven't played these games. Uh, the graphics look insane, um, so I'll definitely be playing them. I need to finish the latest Final Fantasy, to be honest. But um, this one, the uh, come with a fantastic steel book like just beautiful um yeah I, i'm not a steel book collector i normally gift them to friends but i think i'm actually gonna hang on to this one because it looks so good um and it also makes me really want to start playing these final fantasy games but yeah overall i think uh i got a fantastic deal from my friend um without the four consoles and obviously the uh, so 10 or so cases that were missing games and hopefully I can come across them when I go to cash converters and stuff because normally I do find loose carts and stuff like that but yeah these games and four consoles uh, was $100 and this stuff was free so let's get on to the last items that I have happened to pick up this month so rounding out September, I'm going to show you guys the brand new release games that I ended up picking up from EB Games as well. So I was lucky enough to pre-order the one terabyte PlayStation 4 Pro Spider-Man pack and I absolutely love this unit. I had to wait to uh, use it as my main uh, PlayStation 4 in the living room until I received a hide it mounts um, mount display. So uh, you can check out that video, the link is in the description. and I absolutely love this console I have done an unboxing for it as well which I will link you guys as well um, but I finished the game I totally love it it's a I can't say what because I'm going to be doing a full review for it but I'm going to go through and play it a second time and the DLC is coming out in October so I'm really excited to get my hands on like playing that again I just can't wait till the controller is in my hand and I can play some more spider-man it is such a good game the other games that I ended up grabbing, so this was retail $6.49 and it come with the game. I am asked that a little bit often, so I'll put that in the description. The other game I ended up grabbing is Axiom Verge. This is the multiverse edition, so it's a special edition. It comes with the soundtrack and stuff like that as well. I ended up uh, grabbing this game because a friend of mine, uh, Alice Automator, did suggest it. When I checked it out on EB Games, it was on sale, it was 40% off. I think it was uh, in the $40 mark uh, for me to get this brand new and sealed delivered to me and I was really happy to do it. So this is an 8-bit Metroidvania style game and it was created by one guy, uh, Tom Hat, and I'm really excited to get my hand, like just to get playing this game. Uh, I will be doing this on live stream on YouTube in the coming weeks and letting you guys know uh, what my thoughts on it are. Uh, the reviews are sort of mixed. Uh, it does have good reviews in some ways uh, on the music and the styling of the 8-bit side-scroller, uh, but there's apparently a little bit of backtracking. So anyway, I was happy to pick up this game. I'm always happy to get suggestions on new, new games that people think that I might like. So this happened to be one of them and I got it at a really cheap price. The other games that I ended up grabbing this month uh, was Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I ended up uh, picking this up from JB Hi-Fi and it was the day one release. I ended up paying $79 for this off the shelf. 
I don't regret buying it. Uh, at first it was taking me a little bit to get into the game. Uh, but as of now, uh, there is a certain scene, I uh, won't give anything away, uh, but it just ignited my passion again for this particular story uh, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So if you can grab yourself a copy of it, if it's on sale or a pre-owned copy, definitely don't miss this one. It is a very good game. And lastly, the other PlayStation exclusive for the year, which some people are saying it could be game of the year. So I'm trying to play through the games that I think could be game of the year this year, and one of which is Detroit Become Human. I didn't pick this up on release day because it had a $100 price tag and I wasn't sold on the demo. And if I didn't like the demo, I wasn't going to buy it. So what I ended up doing was going back and playing the older games. So I have played through Heavy Rain twice and Beyond Two Souls. I'm sort of like at the halfway point, but I think I've totally stuffed it up. So uh, I might start the game again. But this game has got some excellent reviews and I didn't buy it for the $99 price tag, I waited until it's come on sale. So this was for sale for $39 at Big W Australia a couple of weeks ago. I contacted my local EB Games and I said, hey, this has now gone on sale at Big W, will you price match? And they did for me. So instead of $99, I ended up getting this for $39 and I think that's an excellent deal for a good title. Um, so far, I've only made it to the title screen because I'm trying to play through Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, but I'm really looking forward to this and hopefully in the next week I'll have a full review of this and a review of Spider-Man up on my channel. But this is the uh, current games I ended up picking up in September from EB Games. Thank you everyone for watching and I'd just like to say thank you for the support on my other videos of op shopping and thrifting, game hunting uh, around Australia. So I'm going to be traveling to other cities and uh, country towns to go hunting as well. So definitely stay tuned for more of those videos. I'll try and do one to two per month. But let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see more of and what you liked in this particular lot that I found, uh, what you think was probably my best deal. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.